And the winner of this this year's Opera Madness competition on Nick at Nine is... <laughs> I love that more than anything in the... If you notice, uh, we had a little handkerchief in our hand, too. Uh, full service here at Nick at Nine. Welcome. My name is Nicholas Brownlee, and this is Nick at Nine, an opera variety show right here on the TDO Network. Now, um, if, if you've been following along, you know that every week up until now, eight weeks in, I've opened with sort of a cold open of me singing. So instead of doing that, I sort of wanted to open with the winner of Opera Madness since it was a seven-week journey. We announced it on the show last week, but if you didn't hang around to the third segment to catch it, which, first of all, why wouldn't you hang around? We're having a blast. Look, I'm wearing pineapples. Um, or for whatever reason you didn't catch it, it's true. Pavarotti did win. Um, it was an incredible tournament. Thousands of people voted, which is a crazy number that I never foresaw uh, happening. Uh, thank you again to each and every one of you who voted. Pavarotti, Goat, Goat Mountain, Goat Hill, like greatest of all time. The MJ of singing. Um, so no surprise there. Leontine goes down in the finals, which is such a shame. Um, but, uh, it was a real celebration of singers and singing, and I appreciate you all, uh, who joined me. Now, uh, you know, given that it's summer and given that everything's, uh, uh, everything's sort of out and there's, there's not a lot of people singing right now, a lot of, not a lot of people playing, a lot of people taking their sort of, um, desired breaks, I actually find it as a time as a singer, I find it a really good time to sort of do some vocal maintenance, right? Um, I, 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 I saw someone on, on Facebook the other day say, it's so nice to, it's so nice to, to be able to practice and not immediately be, uh, asked to deliver, on the things you practice. So you, so normally you practice and the next day you're in rehearsals and like maybe you implement, you know, 3% of the thing you tried yesterday. This is a time for like real under the hood vocal maintenance. Now, part of that for me is listening to uh, old recordings of myself, which if you are a, an instrumentalist or you're an artist uh, of any kind, um, listening to recordings of yourself is like your own little purgatory. Uh, it's your own little like painstaking, uh, self-aware, uh, fraudy little guy sitting on your shoulder the entire, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's the ultimate act of self-love and self-care. And so um, for each each singer out there, whether you're singer or instrumentals, I actually really think that you should practice this. Um, but what I've done in this next clip, and this is a little it's part of the talking technique segment that we talked about last week, what I've done is I've taken an aria that I sang in 2015, um, and then I've juxtaposed it. So I've sing a phrase from that version and then a, the next phrase from the 2019 version. So I've juxtaposed it with the 2019 version of me singing the same aria. Now look, there's a lot of differences in it. The quality of, of video is different. The quality of sound is slightly different. Um, one's with orchestra, one's with piano. I mean, one, I'm in a full stage production. The other, I'm in a suit. Like, of course, but within reason, you really can tell uh, the differences that I've made in vocal technique, vocal color choices, and overall sort of artistry and long phrasing. Um, just, just those differences that that you know like when someone loses 300 pounds it never feels like that to yourself the tiny baby steps um that you make that sort of you go back and look and you see that it made a cumulative effect and so that was sort of the idea of this exercise i would encourage any singer out there to do this and for you non-singers that may be tuning in i think it might be a really cool exercise because what i've done is uh notated what i hear um, what I hear different between 2015 and 2019, what I do better, and in some cases what I do worse, um, and how sort of I've grown over that time. Uh, again, it's, 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 by no means is this like, uh, if anything, this is self-deprecating as, as all get out, because um, I'm really like letting everyone behind the curtain as much as possible. But I think it's a really important exercise. And uh, while comparison from one artist to another is sort of the death of great art, uh, I think comparing our works uh, in a linear sort of way, like what was I like then? What am I like now is a really good way to sort of check in and, uh, and say to yourself, like, where am I at? Where am I going? What do I want to do? What did I, you know, what did I lose? What did I gain? I think it's a really good exercise. So I hope you enjoy this next, um, this, this next segment, let's call it that. Uh, and this is me singing Schweig, Schweig, damit dich niemand wart from uh from Der Freischutz by Karl Maria von Weber. I hope you enjoy you guys.
That really is that really is a journey. Woo, man, listening to yourself sucks. By the way, I could go sing this aria today, and I could juxtapose the 2020 version with the 2019, and I could find as many things wrong with it. I could sing the aria today, and then again tomorrow, and find as many things wrong. With it. I mean, that's sort of part of the journey. But uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed that and sort of saw what you know, let you into the mind of what I'm thinking about technique wise and what I'm thinking about how to, how to, um, how to sort of better serve the power and beauty of the music through my technique. Cause that after all is the whole point of technique. Um, cool. So, uh, in the, in the final segment of today's show, we're doing another, uh, segment of a lifelong duet, which is an opera couples trivia show where I ask opera couples, um, the hard hitting questions ultimately ending in who's the better singer. So on today's show, uh, we have uh, Becky, uh, Becky and Jason. They, Becky and I went to Santa Fe together um, uh, way back. I can't even think of the date. 2014, maybe we went to Santa Fe together. Becky and Jason are, are a great singer couple. They live right down the road in Lucerne, which is just a hop, skip, and a jump from us here in Karlsruhe. We of course did this distance um on on zoom it's really really fun and they were a really really cool couple they had a lot of fun with this um a huge shout out for for them uh coming on sort of at the last minute i really appreciate you guys making it work and uh yeah with no further ado i hope you guys enjoy this segment right yeah. nervous marriage has to be the best yeah. been singing longer okay. who sings higher uh-huh. whose rep is harder <laughs> which of you has had the most voice teachers okay who's better at music theory 
<laughs> Which of you spends more time on YouTube listening to old school singers that mm. I didn't even finish? Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Who is more likely to have a gnarly crack in performance? <laughs> Who spends more time warming up before performances? Which of you has the weirdest show day ritual? Okay. Yeah. Who's more of a diva on show day? Okay. Who has better diction? <laughs> uh, which of, okay, which of you is more prepared when you show up to a gig? Mm. Oh, which of you is more likely to translate the entire score, not just where you? Oh, okay, didn't. Finish. <laughs> great. Okay, great. You guys are just. Instinct. Who is better with patrons? Okay. And last one for me. Who takes lessons and coachings more? Okay. Good. Okay. Okay. Which of you is better at being on the road? Who's more likely to be late to rehearsal? Mm. <laughs> now, Bell. <bad. laughs> which, which of you looks at the conductor more while performing? Which of you is more likely to get into a fight with the director? <laughs> Who's more likely to forget to pay their AGMA dues? Who's more likely to forget text? <laughs> I don't think you have to be so happy when you raise them, you guys. Uh, which, uh, which of you does more online creeping of current singers in your fog? Who sweats more during shows? <laughs> Gross. Instant. Which of you is the better actor? Who's louder? Who's more musical? Which of you likes opera more? Who needs singing more? Which of you has better technique? <laughs> and and finally, who's the better singer? Oh God! Robbie, Robbie, great job! Really Robbie. wonderful stuff. You believe in yourself. You guys yeah. are the first couple where both of you raise the same shoe on the last question. Honestly, haha, <laughs> so close. Look at that tied up. Isn't that insane? Out of 30 questions, three couples were within one question each. That's wild. That's wild. It's been so much fun watching how all the different couples, you can go back, we, we've done three versions of this. Um, all the couples answer differently and how, um, how the dynamic is completely different in each one with how fast or slow they raise their hands and how confident each other are. Um, and maybe the most fun is that there's a, a little thing you guys don't know. There's 10 warm up questions, um, what are just like daily life questions. And those, those sort of get them going. And those are always fun too. Like who's the better cook, who's the better driver. Um, so, so maybe I'll do like a bloopers reel of, of those as well. Um, so that's it for today's show. You guys, thank you so much, um, for, for tuning in. I am having a blast doing this show. I think I say that about 30 times a show, which is really annoying, but it never bears. It never hurts to repeat. Um, I'm having a blast doing the show. It's been really cool and really fun for me. Obviously, like, share, um, subscribe to Dallas Opera YouTube channel. Um, like us on Facebook. Share this post. Share a numerous posts. We have incredible content coming to you daily um, from all different spectrums of the opera world. Um, and so listen to the very important voices, very important people doing really cool, important work. So, uh, I'm just here to have fun and talk about opera. Um, <laughs> uh, okay. I wish you guys all a happy summer. I'm actually leaving right now to go join Maddie and Jen, my wife at the water park. That's why I'm dressed in this. I got swim trunks on below and, uh, yeah, it's going to be a really, really good time. So, uh, love to you all. Keep it up. Keep watching opera. Singers out there, do your maintenance. Do your work. Now's the time to get that stuff in. Um, have a great time. TDO, Nick at 9, out. Peace.